High school football kicks off tonight, but imagine playing on a gridiron with no grid. As Rick Porsche found out, there's more to painting a field than just buckets and sprayers. Got it. So we string a line to make sure that every number is exactly 27 feet from the sideline. Painting a football field is as much science as it is art. Lay them down, I'll get started. And it's labor intensive. We paint every line. We'd have to roll up the string, move the string. It can take four experienced painters two days to paint one field. But not anymore. Thanks to science. Meet the turf tank. Rec employees named this one R2. It's a computer-controlled, GPS-guided painter. It'll paint lines, numbers, hashes, and media lines without me having to do anything except replace the paint. Breck is one of the first departments in the country to use it. An employee actually brought it to my attention as kind of a joke. But what R2 can do is no laughing matter. It paints a straight line with an error, give or take error, of zero to three centimeters. It paints on the same line every time. We can't physically paint them any better. He uses less paint than the old manual method, that translates to nearly $100 savings per paint job. But it's going to go on its own and do what it needs to do. Leaving the artist to work on the numbers and logos. It's taken a four to eight man operation and we can literally cut it down to two. And they can do it in just half a day. We're, we've proven a savings in labor, we've proven a savings in paint per application. So move over Picasso, there's a new Rembrandt of the football field and his work won't cost nearly as much as one of your paintings. Rick Porche, WAFB 9 News. Well, R2 and his twin brother, D2, currently paint all of Breck's football, soccer, lacrosse, and flag football fields. Soon, they will also paint the Breck baseball field.